Hey, hi, this is Priyanka Singh again with a new coding problem, which is count sorted vowel string. And here we are given an array, we are given an integer n and return the number of strings of length n that consist only of vowels a, e, i, o, u and that too in lexicographically sorted manner. All right. So here string s is lexicographically sorted if all valid i, i uh, denotes index where every character at index i is same is the same as or comes before character of index i plus one in the alphabet right so what does that mean is if we talk about this a a here this uh this first a is same as the another a. that means we'll count it as a lexicographically sorted string all right and uh, if if we talk about this a e here this a comes before e right so again we will count it as a lexicographically sorted string but what if in case of e a e a is, is not a valid string since e comes after a in this in the alphabet but what do we need is uh, whatever uh, the previous character should always be same or it should come before the second character in the alphabet in the actual alphabet all right so here uh, first example is with the length one that means only these five are possible uh, with uh, only these five strings are possible with length one all right and in case of two how am i going how am i going to get this what i'll do is i'll add a I mean, I will I will prefix a to all these five values. All right, so I get these five. Now and now next possible string. Now next possible character is e that I can add, but I can't add it to this a because it will make it an invalid uh, string according to our question. So I'll add e to these four. That will give me another four, another set of four strings. All right. Now I'll add i. Uh, I'll add i to these three. That will give me three more strings to add into my answer. Now I'll add o. I can add o to these two only, uh, so that it follows lexicographically sorted uh, way. Now this will give me two more string to add into my resultant array, right? Not array. Yeah, if we can say array. Now in the at the last we will be counting the uh, count of these strings available in our array. Now next I'll add u, which I can add only in this string. That will give me this. Okay. So this is how we will get a resultant array. I'll count possible strings. Uh, I'll count the number of strings in it. That is 15. Then I'll return 15. All right. So uh, let's uh, for this, we can't just uh, show that up here. We have to figure out pattern what it is following and then we'll try to see how. So I have. Um, I've written something for you so that you can figure out what is the pattern. So this is what I did in pen and paper initially. And then I figured out what is the pattern. I recognized what it is following. And then I came up with it. All right. So what? Uh, so in case of one, these are the five possible strings that we can have. And its length would be one for each. All right. So length of this array becomes five. How? How can we get that by adding all these numbers right now how am i going to get this one by adding a to all these right so uh, adding uh, all of summation of all of this will become my of uh, uh, you know it will become some part of my answer my entire answer right and uh, I'll add e to these four that will give me four new strings. So uh, So here I can do this now adding I prefixing I 
in these three strings will give me three more strings. So here are those and its count would be three. Adding O to these two will give me two more new strings. Here comes, here comes the count. I'll add U. I can add it to only one string that is U. So this will give me count one. A summation of all these uh, gives me the answer to this problem right but what if we move a step ahead in this case i i can add a to all of these right so its uh, summation would be 35 its summation would be 5 10 15 sorry uh, 15 summation is for this one the 35 summation is for this one and summation for this is 5 right so i can add a to all of these strings right so these this these will become 15 okay and i can add e to all of these except the first row that will give me how many new strings that will give me 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 that comes 4, 8, 10. 10 more strings. Here comes that. Now I can add i to all these 3. That will give me 6. Right. Now I'll add uh, o to these 3. That will give me a count of 3. I'll add u to only this. That will give me a count of 1. And summation of all these will give me 35. So if you um, follow the pattern, what it is doing, it is making a prefix array, right? So initially what we can do is we can have a, we can have an array with a length of 5, right? And every array having 1 to it. I'll assign one to uh, all the indexes. Mm, five i plus plus. Your a i equals to one. I, I have assigned uh, i. So in this case, um, possible strings are these five strings. So what in the end, what we are so this is it. All right, so possible string is 1 for when the case is length is length given is 1 right now what would be the summation of it i will uh, make a prefix array how i can do this by uh, 0 less than 5 i plus this right now a i equals to a i plus a i minus one. So basically, uh, I'll be starting with one here, so that in first index I can have summation of zeroth index and first index. And likewise, in the last index I can have summation of last index and previous index. All right, so. In the end, I'll be getting the answer in the last index. That is 4. Right? So, what I have done is, I have not taken the array in this manner. Instead, I have taken it in a reverse order because that would be easier for us uh, to make a prefix array. Alright? So, uh, initially, what my array would be holding is 1, 2, Three, initially I have assigned one to all the uh, value to all the indexes in the array and now in this what I'm doing this is already one and this I added one to this one we got two then we added two to this one we got three then I added three to this one we got four then I added four to this one I got 5. So that is how, how I got this. And 5 is the answer. But how many times we need to run this? It would be nth time. 
Now we need to run this for nth time. Whatever nth we are given. So let's start with 1 less than or equal to n k plus plus. Right? So I'll put our in, our this piece of code here. Right? So if the case is 1, n is 1, then it will be running for one time. And we will be having our answer in the last index of the array, of our prefix array, rather I would say. So let's see. This is correct. Let's check for some more use cases. So it's giving us correct. Let's submit it. So it's accepted. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe my channel for new upcoming videos.